Okay, here we are on post-trib moment number 46. And here again you're going to see some of his stupid replacement theology, uh, anti-Semitism coming out here. Uh, point to this and say, when it says all the tribes of the earth shall mourn, that's talking about how Israel is going to mourn and they're going to feel bad about uh, not believing in Jesus. And they're all going to get saved. I don't believe that for one second. You know, when the Bible Okay. He doesn't believe for one second that the Jews are going to be saved and that they're going to be sorry that they crucified their Savior. Well, apparently then I guess he's calling Paul a liar. Because you go over here to Revelate, or excuse me, Romans chapter 11. And it says here, For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part is happened to Israel, until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. Now look at this one. And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written, there shall come out of Zion the Deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. As concerning, excuse me, as concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes, but as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sakes. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? So this little liar here just said, oh, Israel's not going to come back. They aren't going to be sorry. You know, they aren't going to mourn and they'll all be saved. I don't believe that. Well, it just says it there in Romans chapter 11. He can't deal with this. And the tribes that are mentioned there in the context of Matthew chapter 24 are very clearly the tribes of the nation of Israel. That's where Jesus Christ is going to rule and reign. So why would the other tribes be mourning? But even if they are mourning, again, how does this prove a post-tribulation rapture? He's grasping at straws here. He's desperate to try and prove his heresy. 